All right, now we're doing 7Q Shortest Word. This is by PG1, and 90% of the people like it. Uh, given a string of words, we're going to return the length of the shortest word, or words. Uh, the string will never be empty, and we do not need to account for different types of data. All right, cool. So for this one, uh, we're going to start off by splitting this S up uh, by the spaces so that we can get it word for word. Uh, and we're going to use the split method, which takes a pattern and divides a string into an ordered list of substrings by searching for a pattern, putting the substrings into an array, and returning the array. Uh, and we're going to do it, we're going to split it, like I said, by the spaces right here. And so it'll just put every single word in its own element. So let's do that. We're going to actually first, let's turn this into a concise syntax. All right. And then we'll get to that. All right. And now on this line, uh, we're going to put S dot split by the spaces. All right. And now we're going to uh, map it so that we can uh, do something so that we can get the length of each one of the uh, uh, elements. All right. So we're going to use the map method, which creates a new array populated with the results of calling a, a provided function on every element in the calling array. So right here, it's trying to multiply every element by two making uh, 1, 4, 9, and 16 into 2, 8, 18, and 32. But what we're going to do is we're just going to do the dot length of uh, the words that we got. And the uh, syntax we're going to use is the map element arrow function and then the expression, all right? The arrow, I should say, but whatever. Here we go. So we're going to say in uh, dot map, and we're going to go element, and we're going to say element dot length. All right, so now we've got the length of each one of these words. Now we're going to find the smallest one of those, and we're going to do that by using math.min. And that's a static function that returns the lowest value number passed into it, as you could probably imagine. So we just do math.min and then value, 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 uh, and we're just going to throw that this array in there. So we're going to wrap this whole thing up in parentheses. Over here, say math, whoops, math.min, all right? And it'd be cool if this works, but right now, it's like like I said here, math.min takes value, comma, 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 value, value, value. And uh, uh, right now, this is array. So there's a, so this thing has a, uh, a set of brackets around it. We got to get rid of those brackets. Uh, and for this one, we're going to get rid of the brackets by using the apply method, which calls a specific function with a given this value and arguments provided as an array, right? So we put uh, dot apply and then we can either put null or we can put this and it'll uh, give us this. Now, I don't know. I know. I know for this one, we can do that. I don't know if there's something different, but we're just getting familiar with this at this point anyway. So we're just going to say dot apply and then right here we're going to say uh, this comma and then this stuff right here and this should take care of business uh, let's test it out All right, it does I attempt it alright and like I said it'll also work with null test it out attempt it alright and we'll submit it uh, one more thing actually one more thing I just I just have to say this it'll also work if we don't even do this and we just use spread syntax Let's see now I don't know what the difference is between the three of these things are uh, the apply with this the apply with with uh, null and the spread syntax but for this one all three of those work so let's do the apply one more time and do null comma uh, just because that's what the best practice looks like. Test it one more time. Attempt it. Good. Submit it. All right. And like I said, that's what the uh, best practice is looking like. And, you know, 461 people, a bunch of people here. So we're going to very much like this one. Let's go to My Solutions. Uh, looks pretty much the same, except for it's a uh, concise syntax. Best practice, in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.